Kia no tātou, <coughs> tia tahi ka mihi atu hau ki tō tātou kaihana i rūna rawa i nā nei tīmata nā nei tango nō mā ka tō nō reira whakakorore ki tōna ingo e tapu i nā wā katoa. Ka mihi atu ki nā mate, nā mate o te, te atu awa o tātou anō hoki, te karaua, te, te mātua i, I hinga atu i te rāwiki ka te mihi atu ki te whānau, whānau pauri i tēnei wā. Uh, o tira, ka hoki mai ki a tātou, te huna ora, a ko tātou e nei, ki ora tātou. Uh, kia ora everyone, uh, my name is Jason Mika, I'm at uh, Massey University in the School of Management, Palmerston North. Uh, very pleased to be here with my colleague, uh, Dr John Reid, but also with our team on the, um, the Māori Marine Economy uh, project. Um, we're going to share a few uh, thoughts about our project in terms of where it is at at the moment and where it's headed to. Um, in terms of um, in terms of our, our, our project, what our project is about is looking at uh, Māori enterprises that manage marine uh, resources in terms of how they incorporate Mātauranga Māori in those activities. So how do they do that? Uh, one of the fundamental things that we're looking at is, well, uh, how do these Māori enterprises uh, uh, manage cultural uh, and commercial imperatives? How do they, I guess, manage their responsibilities to their whānau, to their, to their hapū, uh, to their iwi, uh, to their communities, uh, but also papatua uh, and And also, how do they actually make money? How do they actually uh, ensure that they're running productive uh, enterprises at the same time? Um, and that's really the focus of our study. Uh, this is a little bit about our team. Uh, so uh, we're our advisory board there, a very distinguished uh, lineup there. Uh, we've got uh, a couple of sirs, uh, a distinguished professor, and uh, and some iwi members from uh, Fakatoa here, uh, and also a judge. Uh, so we're we're very blessed to have uh, legal beagles uh, and also uh, some distinguished scholars and community uh, members on our advisory board. In terms of our research team. Uh, a research team comprises nine researchers uh, and uh, a few other research uh, uh, members from our universities and institutions that are working with us. Uh, we uh, come from, um, I guess, the Fairawa team within Napai o Te Maramatanga, uh, the the, um, the National Centre of Māori Research Excellence, uh, based at Auckland. So we've we're part of that Fairawa Māori Economy Research uh, Program. Uh, so uh, there's our team, and in our team we're blessed. We've got a Big talented uh, team, uh, and the problem with talented people is that they're busy. They're always very, very busy. Everyone wants a piece of them. So um, I'm glad that we have our own piece of their time uh, for this particular project. We've got economists, science, uh, business, uh, tribal, law, uh, and also um, all sorts of other aspects. Mātauranga Māori inside of our research team. Entrepreneurship, innovation, the works. Um, the focus of our research uh, one of the areas is case studies. Now, how our approach to case studies is really uh, looking at uh, research partnerships. It's not about knocking on the door and saying, well, you know, how do you do business, you know, uh, uh, to uh, our Māori enterprises. It's working in partnership with them to understand uh, what are the challenges, what are the opportunities for those uh, Māori uh, enterprises at different levels. So in our five case studies, we have uh, iwi, so we're looking at the complexities of iwi, how they're engaging with the marine environment, the marine economy. Uh, we're looking at uh, a collective of iwi, uh, the uh, iwi collective partnership, a collective of 14 iwi that are working together to uh, manage their uh, quota assets. Uh, we're looking at uh, an iwi that is heavily involved in uh, aquaculture, uh, a long-term endeavor uh, over in the uh, Apotski region. Uh, we're also looking at uh, a start-up venture, which is Aotearoa clams, so surf clams around the sort of Foxton, uh, Wanganui area, trying to get that going, so sort of an entrepreneurial venture. Uh, then we've got an iwi and um, Ngāti Kaungunu, uh, Wairua Tai Whenua, who are looking at uh, uh, conservation, preservation, but also looking at uh, commercial aspects as well. So as you can see there, there's a, there's a variety of uh, institutions involved in our, in our project team. Uh, 
Um, so what we're looking at, um, now we're looking at a variety of aspects. Now I just want to make a couple of comments about uh, Sir Rob's uh, uh, comments about, um, I guess, what is EBM. And um, I guess uh, when, when, when you look at all the different parts that make up EBM, what our project contributes to that discussion, to that conversation about what EBM is, is really elevating, elevating the kōrero so that it's not just about the bits of EBM, what comprises it, but it's actually the context within which EBM is constructed as a policy, as a practice, as a thing. Uh, and it puts it into the context of uh, Māori uh, participation, Māori ownership rights, Māori interests uh, in the marine economy, mai rāno, ki nai nei ana kia pōpō. Uh, so looking at the past, the present and the future. And uh, we've conducted research, uh, literature review. Okay, kia ora, John. I'm getting the hurry up, not from the clock, from my mate there. Um, uh, so, um, you know, we've, we're, we're looking at that and we've, we've got some, uh, a bit of a story to tell in our literature review, which John will talk about. Um, so we're looking at policy, uh, kaitiaki models. So what does kaitiaki tana mean to our Māori enterprises in terms of the practices? What are they actually doing? And that'll come out in the case studies, but also some, um, uh, some survey research that we're doing. Okay, oh yeah, I missed the slide. Okay, some more. So how are we doing it? Um, so literature review, John's gonna talk about that. Case studies, I've just mentioned those. We're also looking at doing a survey of Māori marine uh, enterprises, uh, uh, including uh, iwi, uh, subsidiary companies that, that uh, manage uh, iwi assets, but also commercial fishers, customary uh, community, uh, looking at engaging with iwi, whānau, hapu iwi, uh, through our uh, project as well. Kia ora. Ngā mihi nui ki koutou. So, um, there's a, a, quite a few copies of these uh, sitting up here. This is a comprehensive literature review we've done as part of the team. It looks at the, the history and background of the Māori marine economy, the structure, um, its structure and how it's shifted since uh, 1840 to today. Um, so we've, um, this has been uh, the bulk of our work and we're well through our case study work now. I just thought I'd just give you almost like the contents of this report just in a brief overview so that you can, might be able to see from your different areas where you're working across the science challenge, areas that you can connect to or find a common area of interest with us. So the first thing we do is we look at uh, the Māori worldview and values and uh, key concepts, how do Māori relate to tangaro or to the sea. Then we look at what were the traditional um, structure of the Māori marine economy, like what were the old, what were the policy and regulations, how did Māori used to manage their marine environment pre-1840. And we look at the way that it was mostly a, a, a whānau, family and hapu um, uh, enterprise. And then we, uh, if we, uh, we look a lot at um, the, the old structure of the economy, particularly the way it was almost like Māori had their own ITQ system where the, uh, the marine environment was managed based on species, the location of those species, technology and seasons. So seasons, uh, ownership of the different uh, species would shift um, over the time of year. We also look at the governing structures and the traditional methods of resource management like rahui and then we looked at uh, the background around exchange and other areas. We also looked at some of the political history, particularly the way in which Crown presumed ownership of the marine environment, and then the way from 1840 until the 1980s, Māori mostly used the marine area as a subs for a subsistence economy, but also in a limited commercial extent. But then we also had this tragedy of the commons type situation from the 1950s to the 80s, um, where there's a lack of regulation, which led to the development of the ITQ system. But uh, with the ITQ system, we also had an issue where um, uh, it was found in the High Court that Māori actually owned uh, the fisheries um, because the Crown had never purchased those fisheries from them as part of the treaty. And so this led to the treaty negotiations and then the formation of what we have today, which is the ITQ um, settlement structure and the settlement process. And that's, these are the structures that now um, form the Māori um, marine economy, the modern marine economy. 
So we have this sort of traditional structure, which was a hapu-centered economy. This is a sub-tribe, got a small scale, which has now evolved into this uh, iwi and pan-iwi structured economy, which has a whole bunch of different implications. Um, but I'll let you, if you're interested, explore that um, while reading through um, the report that we've written. Uh, some of the key other elements we talk about is how that marine uh, uh, economy is growing. Maori, the Māori make up 50% of that economy now, and so are a significant stakeholder. And also now the emergence of ecosystem-based management and all the conversations that we've been having about that here today. And also, um, what are the opportunities that sit there for Māori around premium uh, value brands and so on related to authenticity and the sustainable management of the marine ecosystems? Um, I'll hand it back to Jason to finish this off. Kia ora, John. Uh, so, um, <clears throat> I guess what we're, what we're aiming to do inside, well, by, uh, by 30th of June, 2000, uh, June uh, 2019, is uh, do a couple of things. One is uh, basically map the Māori marine economy. What does it look like in terms of who's, who's inside that economy? What, uh, how big is it? What is it doing? Um, how is it performing? How is it structured? How is it organised? Um, and we want to do that as, as, as best we can in terms of painting that kind of a picture. We also want to uh, provide some insight as to what, what are Māori perspectives around the current structures of uh, uh, managing fisheries, commercial uh, marine uh, environment uh, and resources, you know, what's working, what's not working there and, uh, and what could work uh, better in the future. Uh, one of the other aspects is looking at products. Uh, how, do we, um, how do we incorporate our story uh, about how we are managing our marine uh, resources into our products uh, so that they're innovative uh, and we're communicating it, that story to the marketplace. Uh, the other thing that we're really uh, keen to do is to uh, keep the conversation going and uh, we're very pleased to be here at this conference so that we can uh, have that coordinate with uh, colleagues and other projects uh, and just connect and I really like the, um, uh, the waka haurua uh, that Sean presented, uh, te ao Māori, te ao Pākehā, our knowledges, but uh, working across that as a part of a negotiated zone of uh, conversation about what works and what does the future look like. And we want to be part of that, uh, that corridor through this, uh, this, this uh, research uh, and this research program. Um, kia ora.